So what is the pressure angle for gears? It's one of the primary terms you need to know to design, make, use them. Gears are very exacting and of criticality is having gears run together, they must have the same pitcher module and they must have the same pressure angle to work, period. What is pressure angle? The first chart you'll see from AGMA or Machinery's Handbook is this kind of complicated looking chart for gears. Let's do something simpler. So here's two gears, similar situation. Let's draw the base circle for each gear. Put a line that's tangent to both in between them. Put a horizontal line through the pitch circles of both, and there's your pressure angle. And up close, here's what it looks like on the tooth that's right at those two pitch circles. Standards make for interchangeable gears and common cutting tools. So just like we talked about in the definition and drew and checked out, the fit is on the pitch line, so when you're looking at your gauge, when they fit right down there where that pitch line circle is on the gear, and your gear gauge runs really smoothly, that's how you know you got a fit. But let's go back in history and see how we got to the 14 and a half degree standard in particular. It's an interesting story. History's pretty fascinating. It's uh, complete with gear, evidence of gears for many thousands of years prior to this, but Archimedes was really one of the first practitioners that was making gears, the Archimedes screw for pumping water, all sorts of other mechanisms involving gears. So he kind of started it, but then we had to go through about 15 to 1600 years of dark ages with no or very little progress until a ray of sunshine came with Leonardo da Vinci. But regardless of the theory of gears and the math of gears and writing gears on paper and all that stuff that's in patent places, even before there was paper, mankind was making gears for fruitful purposes. Things got serious in the math world with this French guy, Camus, and then real serious when Euler got involved and wrote his theory of, of gearing in 1760. There's no doubt about it. Euler was really the mastermind of putting the complete theory together. But Camus, prior to him, maybe even knew him, and Savory, another individual after, so commonly people call it the CES thing, Camus, Euler, Savory. These guys figured it out and it's still the system we use to this day. It's amazingly functional involute gearing for transmission of torque and actuation and rotational precision. So that's what we have. And once you have the equations, what standards do we apply to it? A lot of minimums and maximums for tooth proportions, etc. How do we figure it out? Well, industry, that's where industry comes in. And to get the, to fill in the equations, to get what you needed, you need people to research it in a different way from the perspective of making the gear. Bert Willis from Cambridge wrote a great paper and said, hey, we, we, have, the, we have the theory, but what about some standards? Let, let's get some standards. I've been working with this guy from industry to try to grapple and figure out what some of these standards are and here's as near as i can figure very nearly so there he is he defined the 14.5 degree pressure angle right here in his textbook from 1841 and he did it in concert with this guy named brown now by himself nobody recognized him but brown this is the brown of brown and sharp and everybody that knows very superior machine tool hand tools measurement and metrology tools knows brown and sharp they were very early in industry and very much dominated the scene so what are the standard pressure angles that are used in industry today and are commonly recognized here they are 14 and a half willis did that as we know 20 25 and 30. they each have their place uh, 14 and a half is so common and early that we will have those gears for a very long time 20 degree pressure angle is the currently preferred pressure angle for gears and the larger pressure angle gears are stronger, but make more noise. The formalization of standards organizations came far after Willis, Euler, and others created the system that, uh, and these standards that we now use and codified many more parameters like pressure angle. Check out all the links in the description below, and thanks again, everybody, for watching. See you next time.